Hello lovely people. Welcome, welcome to another video and welcome to a little bit of an unboxing. As you saw from the video yesterday, we are going to be doing an unboxing of a very, very good box, all right? The boxes that we all love. Welcome to a new bike day. Welcome, welcome to James Social Cycling. <music> lovely people welcome to another video and thank you very much for dropping by so you're all keen and eager to find out what's inside this box but just to start off with I just wanted to let you know that over the years I've banged on in my videos about supporting your LBS which is your local bike shop and for the first time because of partly the service that I received last year when I purchased the Amonda I've decided to buy a bit of a bargain online. But first, let's get this out of the box. Let's see what I've purchased, all right? Let's get into it. Okay, people, so let's have a closer look again. Apologies about the sound. Should we start at the cockpit? I'm never a big fan of the Topstone cockpit. The handlebars, really thin. They flare out enough, but as you can see there, there's a little bit of a questionable on the old fitting here um, for the front brake, I believe it is. Theoretically, these should, should be underneath, but I think with these, they've got the little indent in here, so it comes out the front and that's how it looks. It's not actually very nice. What it also does, it kind of widens up. If you've, this works quite well when you've got um, brakes and gears, because you kind of get a double whammy of that and it gives you a little bit more of a place to rest your hand but I always find these tubes very, very skinny. So as you can imagine, that's probably one of the first things that are gonna be going. As you can see, it is a SRAM Apex on the hydraulic braking system, which is looking 
very very nice and you've got i'm quite surprised um i've got the vittoria terreno dry so these are a tubular ready i think i've got tubes in them at the moment and uh yeah they are not too bad for a little bit of light gravel and even a bit of road got the nice mounts on the carbon fork so this is some extras that I haven't didn't have the mounts you've got the top mount this is a like a, a nice gloss black which would look nice with a bit of a cannondale down there and then you've got a little bit of what they I suppose they're saying is a bit of raw here and here uh, this is for the um, lighting system for the bike. You can have a complete light system front and rear with the battery in here. But I might just put my bum wipes in there. That'd be all right. That'd keep me uh, keep me going. And then you've got the Apex one by. So there is a mount here. So you can put a double in if you want to. But you've got a 40 on the front. And then on the back, you've got an 11 speed, but you've got an 11 to 44 cassette. There's a bit of a jump up here, but I think with the Cornwall, Cornwall roads, this would be very, very well received. And not forgetting here, you have the DT Swiss G540 DBs. I think um, a little bit disappointed. The spoke count on these, I think are the front, if I'm right in saying, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So 28 on the back, no, 28 on the front as well. So I thought it was 32, 28. And then you've got, obviously this is a full carbon frame and then you've got the kingpin. So this will give you up to 30 mil of travel. So they say. Might give me 40, being the, the size that I am. <laughs> uh, and then working your way up. I don't think I've missed anything out here. These uh, have tubes in them at the moment. They can be tubeless. I will probably go tubeless. And I probably will use these wheels for a little bit of road and very light gravel. So the saddle area, as you'll know, I'm very much of a a gap in the saddle for me. So the Aliante, Physique Aliante will be being changed and I'll probably change this for a carbon version as well. Nice oversized down tube, which looks really good. And if you look inside this side again, they've obviously, because of the king pin, they've obviously had to add a little bit of compliance. It looks a little bit skewy from here, but it is what it is. And I think it is a lovely looking bike. Just missing a little bit of orange, that's all. There you go, lovely people. So there it is. There is the bike. A couple of things that will need changing, saddle post, the saddle, and the cockpit, as, as I said, it's just a little bit too um, skinny on the top for me. I like, I like something with a bit of girth so I can get my hands around it. Disgusting people. You're all disgusting. So yeah, so there it is. It's definitely missing some orange. I will be looking at the Cannondale. I might even look at the Cannondale on the side as well, or I might just get rid of that completely. But other than that, no. I was looking to upgrade the Cannondale. So Mick, I was looking to upgrade the Cannondale. All right. I was looking to add to the Cannondale that I'm trying to explain to a guy that owns about five or six bikes and I only own three at the moment, right? So anyway, so I was looking to upgrade the Cannondale. I was looking for a frame to be fair, but I've got at the moment, basically 33% off this at the moment. All right, so that's the reason why I couldn't say no. 
and it is a lot lighter but i will be looking to change over things so the uh, hope 25s the hope post um i might look at something different still rich still richy for the cockpit but something a bit different um i've got a new stem already that's already sorted that stem is already absent and yeah i'll uh, just be tidying that front end up i'm hoping to use the 25s but if anybody knows the cannondale dish offset well they did dish the back wheel offset but now it's a standard off a standard dishing on the rear wheel um, and because it's uh, an apex basically i'm gonna have to swap the um shimano uh free hub over for when i want to use it for something a little bit heavier so i'll keep these wheels tires and wheels for a little bit of lighter gravel and road and anything harder i'll um, stick the hopes on with the um pirelli gravel mediums there you go lovely people was it worth waiting for I'm gutted, I can't ride it. It's absolutely beautiful today. I've got no gear with me, no pedals. I've got shoes, but they haven't even got cleats in them. So there you go. Any questions? Sorry, it's a, probably a long-winded video, but any questions down below, don't forget, give us a sub, and uh, this always helps, all right? You and commenting always helps. Lots of love, people. Hopefully see you very soon.